Hello, how are you? Today I want to share one of my father's paintings, this painting. This is a 1992 oil on canvas painting. It is titled Morning at Bundak Street. Now, how do I know the title? Because he told me so. We have the answer here. So behind the canvas, he actually wrote down these words. Wen Da Jie Zhi Cheng, Liu Hai Hong Zuo, 1992, which is Morning at Bundak Street by Liu Hai Hong in 1992. He doesn't write this for all of his paintings. He does them for some of his earlier works and for paintings which he felt that he had done a very good job, such as this one. So in this painting, we have a scene of a morning at Bundak Street in Singapore. So Bundak Street is somewhere near Lao Pasar area. He painted a very similar painting in a different medium, in a pastel. And if you look at the other video, you can compare the two and tell me which medium do you prefer, the oil on canvas one or the oil on pastel one. I will see you for the next painting. This is a 1988 oil on paper painting. It is a painting of Connaught Drive. So where is Connaught Drive in Singapore? Connaught Drive is just next to the Padang. So behind the row of trees here is the Padang and here is Connaught Drive. Connaught Drive is a road, a beautiful road that is lined with big, large old trees. It is now closed to vehicles, so we won't be able to see buses like this, which are mainly tour buses, but used to be parked here. He told me that Connaught Drive used to be also a popular dating spot for couples in the 70s and 80s. I like this painting because it is so serene and so soothing. I hope you like this painting too, and I'll see you for the next painting. This is a 2013 oil on rice paper painting. It is a painting of Teluk Ayer Street in Singapore. Teluk Ayer Street has a very long history. Teluk means bay in Malay, Ayer means water. So Teluk Ayer Street means bay water street. It was so named because Teluk Ayer Street was facing Teluk Ayer Bay. And yes, it means that Teluk Ayer Street was sea facing in those days. When the immigrants landed in Singapore, they landed at Teluk Ayer Bay and they were very grateful for having made the very pernicious sea journey alive, which is why they built places of worships on Teluk Ayer Street. That's why we have the Tian Hocking Temple, if you can watch from the other video, and we have other temples, a mosque and a shrine. Teluk Ayer Street was occupied mainly by the Chinese and the colonial government at that time designated the area as the Chinese district. I hope you like this painting of Telo Island Street and I'll see you for the next painting. This is a 2010 oil on rice paper painting. It is a painting of the Tian Hock King Temple or Tian Fu Gong in Singapore. Tian Hock King Temple is now gazetted as a national monument it is one of the oldest and largest Hokkien temple in Singapore. It is built to worship the goddess Ma Zhu, which is the protector of seafarers. Now, when the Chinese immigrants came down from southern China to Singapore, which is people like my great-grandfather, they had to make a very pernicious sea journey down. And when they finally landed on Singapore, they were very grateful and offered their thanks to the goddess Ma Zhu for protecting them and sending them to Singapore alive. So this is the very simple origins of the Tian Hock King Temple. I will see you for the next painting. This is a 2010 oil on rice paper painting. It is a painting of Amoy Street in Singapore. You may be wondering, why do we have Amoy Street in Singapore? Well, Amoy Street is so named because many of the immigrants from Xiamen lived on the streets during those days. And Amor Street is very near Singapore's oldest Hokkien temple, which is Tian Hokkien Temple, which you can also watch in the other video. Amor Street had a very colourful history with opium dens, gambling dens, and all the illegal <laughs> activities. But now, it is mainly known as a food place with many restaurants and also a popular lunchtime spot for the working crowd in Singapore. I hope you like this painting and I'll see you for the next painting. This is a 2010 oil on rice paper painting. It is a painting of Circular Road. 
Circular Road is in the Boat Quay area behind the waterfront. It is a very popular lunchtime spot for the working crowd and a popular watering hole for the working crowd at night. In this painting, we have a painting of the shop houses, which we can see here. We have seen some people and this single person here walking into the streets. What I really like about this painting are the colours. In particular, the very pastel-like colours that we have here in this painting. Especially this pinkish-orange of the roof. I like this painting of Circular Road and I hope you like it too. I will see you for the next painting.